Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and Republican Senator Josh Hawley are teaming up to ban stock trading at the highest levels of the federal government. Members of Congress and senior executive branch officials should be serving the American people, not lining their pockets. It is way overdue. The bill would only allow officials and their family members to own broad-based mutual funds. Hawley says lawmakers and other federal officials have early access to valuable information that might affect stock prices. It may not technically be insider trading, but it's still an incredible advantage to get the kind of information and briefings that members of Congress get and then be able to turn around and make millions of dollars on that. Senator Gillibrand helped pass the 2012 Stock Act. It requires members of Congress to publicly disclose their stock holdings, but she says members are not following the rules. An astounding one in seven violated the Stock Act last Congress. It's become clear that we need to go even further and to ban them. Illinois Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth is one of more than two dozen lawmakers from the Senate and House endorsing a similar bill. We have to set the standard for the American people so that they can have trust. Opponents argue an outright ban could discourage middle class Americans from seeking public office. To tell a member that they cannot own securities I think is a bridge too far. You're only going to have what a bunch of rich people running for Congress like I'm not rich middle-income American. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has endorsed new trading restrictions, but has yet to bring it up for a vote. In Washington, Raquel Martin.